All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakudash, Yahweh, which is one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I'd like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada Branch. And pretty much, I'm going to do another lesson on this. I did it in a previous time back, two months ago, but I'm doing it again. Uh, basically, a breakdown of uh, Deuteronomy 27 and 3. I mean, 23 and 7. So like it. Deuteronomy 27 uh, and 3. All right. I mean, 23 and 7. I keep getting it mixed up. So like it. This is Deuteronomy 23 and 7. All right. Because you got Jake's that, you know, when they come into this thing, they have the Christianity uh, mindset way in this truth. Where they say they Hebrew Israelites. They say they Israelites. But they have the Christianity doctrine, doctrine mindset. So they believe when you read Deuteronomy 23 and 7. They say, oh, you're not supposed to hate the Edomites. You're not supposed to hate Esau. You're not supposed to, you know, or you got these vocab balloons and these people like this. So you finally realize, I'm going to read it right now. That word Edomite is not supposed to be in Deuteronomy 23 and 7. It's not supposed to be it. That, that, uh, that word Edomite there is not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be uh, uh, Syria. And we're going to prove it. This is Deuteronomy 23 and 7. So Salah Yabar, I said 27 and 3. I mean, 23 and 7, but it's 27 and 3. 23 and 7. So like it. Deuteronomy 23 and 7, it says, Thou shalt not abhor an Edomite, right? So they'll read this, that, there, and they'll say, See, we got them Israelites. It says you're not supposed to hate, but that word um, Edomite is not supposed to be there, all right? Because when you go into the uh, blue letter of the word Edomite, all right, it's Adumi, all right? And it says H130. But when you go into uh down and go into the word uh syria there it goes into second Kings 16 and 6 right and it is uh syria so that word syria is supposed to be in deuteronomy uh 23 and 7 not edomite that's not supposed to be there let's read it again because that word uh edomite is adamya right so the the meserates they took out uh, 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 cause it's originally Arumya there. They took out the Ra and put the Da there. Cause notice the word Arumya and Adumya is very similar. So they took out the the Ra and put the Da there and put Adumya instead of instead of leave instead of it regionally being Arumya. So that's what that's what the Meserites were. The Meserites, if I'm saying it right, were Jewish Edomites. All right, and they took out that word uh, 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 Syria, which is Arumya, and put Adumya there. And the reason why they put that there was because they knew that we would wake up into the truth. And once we would come into the truth, they would, uh, you know, by putting Edomite there, it would uh, help uh, have us to believe that we're supposed to have mercy on them. But that's not the case. So the main thing is that that word Edomite is not supposed to be in Deuteronomy 23 and 7. It's supposed to be Syria. All right. So I'm read this from the top. Deuteronomy 23 and 7. Thou shalt not abhor an Edomite. For he is thy brother, thou shalt not abhor an Egyptian, because thou was a stranger in his land. Right. So that word Edomite is not supposed to be there. All right. It's supposed to be Syria, which is Aramia. All right. And let me get out that Second Kings sixteen and seven. Let me get that out right now. So we'll go to Second Kings sixteen and six. So like this is Second Kings chapter sixteen. You know, this is for you brothers that's new in this truth. You got to be careful. All right. This is uh, 2 Kings 16, and we're going to read verse 6. Right. And it says, at that time, Rezim, king of Syria, right, it says, recovered Eloth to Syria and drave the Jews from Eloth. Right. It says, and the, and the Syrians came to Eloth and dwelt unto this day. So when you go into the meaning of that word Syria, and you can go on the blue letter. If you go on the blue the blue letter of uh 
of Syria in 2 Kings 16 and 6, it's it's uh it's uh Aramia. It's supposed to be Aramia there, right? Which is because the, the true uh H thirty one third the H one thirty is really Syria, not Edomite. And if you look on a blue letter and go into the meaning of the word Syria there, all right, it's Aramia, which is actually H one thirty. So the uh, Masorites they purposely put that in Deuteronomy twenty three and seven. They purposely put that there, but that's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be Syria. So I'll read that again. We'll go back to Deuteronomy 23 and 7. I don't know why I keep saying the other way around. It's like on that too. This is Deuteronomy 23. And we're going to go back again. It's Deuteronomy 23 and 7. And it says, Thou shalt not abhor an Edomite. Right? So again, that word uh, uh, Edomite is not supposed to be there. All right? It's a Rumya that's supposed to be there, not a Dumya. Because they took out the da, they took out the ra and put the da there. So it's supposed to be a Rumya, which is Syria. Not Ed not Edomite, not a Dumya. Because that's how you say Edomite, Edomite in the in the Hebrew. Alright? Verse 7, it says, It says, Thou shalt not abhor an Edomite, for he is thy brother. See? It says, Thou shalt not abhor an Egyptian, because thou was a stranger in his land. So again, when you read Deuteronomy 23 and 7, that word. Edomite is not supposed to be in Deuteronomy 23 and 7. It's supposed to be Syria there, which is Aramia. So, all right. So, Lord willing, is that so edifying? I want to give all honors and glories and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh, And double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the Ophel elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word, truth, sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willingness, that's what was edifying. Until next time I say, Shalom.